Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, yeah, Harbaugh is gone. And so many teams just got better. Well, we got a lot to talk about today. Jeez. First, Nick Saban retires. Jim Harbaugh moves to the NFL. There's stuff going on. This is the, I told you this was the craziest offseason I've ever seen. And yeah, you know, you have coaches move and do all that, but never have we had a transfer portal like this. And of course, having the GOAT retire was just a whole different thing. But now you've got 85 players that are available in the transfer portal if they choose to do so. But because Jim Harbaugh took his time, and man, really took his time, now those kids won't be able to early enroll if, if they decide to transfer. So Harbaugh did a bit of a disservice to them there. Now, I think they've got their head coach in mind. A lot of people thought they might uh, try to go for somebody with a lot of head coaching experience. They might go after Brian Kelly, which would have caused a whole crescendo of dominoes to fall. But now we're hearing something very different, and that's they've already got their guy. And I'm seeing this all over the place. Michigan football has their new head coach lined up. And it says, according to Wolverines' Chris Bayless, offensive coordinator Sharon Moore will be named the 21st head coach of Michigan football. But it'll take seven to ten days because Michigan's a public university job. It needs to be posted for a week. Now, he's already been head coach several times, I guess for six games, because Harbaugh only coached half the games last year. Remember, he was suspended at the first of the year. He was suspended at the end of the year. And he's facing a big suspension, which is why he hightailed it the heck out of there. Humongous told him yesterday, Just walk away. And that's exactly what he did. He just walked away. Now, I know there's going to be a bunch of people out there that say he took off because he was concerned about the NCAA and they were getting ready to hammer him, so he did this. Brave foot off and run away. No! Bravely ran away, away. I didn't. And there's probably some truth to that. Look, this was going to get real ugly with the NCAA. They were going to hammer him. They were going to give him a full one-year suspension, probably three-year show cost, something like that, which I think Michigan would have ignored. And, but he would have had to uh, be suspended for a year, most likely. So he's avoided that. He's taken the Chargers job. He'll have uh, Herbert, a really good quarterback to work with. He'll probably do an outstanding job out there. He's successful everywhere he's been. He was successful at Stanford, which is very difficult to do. He was successful with the uh, 49ers. Then he went to Michigan, won a natty, and now he's heading to the Chargers, and he'll probably win there. He's a very good coach. And I think this has kind of sullied him because of the whole Connor Stay and sign stealing deal that they're going to look they're all over it. I guess they'll just punish Michigan now because they can't punish Jim Harbaugh. And it's interesting, look, Michigan was going to stick by him. They were offering to make him the highest paid coach in the country guaranteed. He was going to get the Nick Saban deal. But he took the Chargers deal and I think he took a pay cut because I don't think the Chargers I'd heard anywhere from 8 million to 15 million a year with the Chargers. Well, he was going to get about 12, 12 and a half with Michigan and guaranteed increases. So he may have taken a pay cut, which would be odd, unless he just decided he didn't want to face the NCAA. And look, I've told you I know people like Jim Harbaugh, that A-type personality, a guy that's not going to listen. It's got to be America's team. Exactly. And he made it very clear. We're innocent. Yeah, you're not going to get anywhere with that guy. He's not going to listen to anything from some pencil-pushing uh, hall monitor NCAA guy. He's going to tell him off very quickly. I want the truth! the truth so he probably saved himself and the ncaa a whole lot of grief that neither side wanted or needed and it might help michigan a little bit that he's gone you know maybe they'll take it a little bit easy on him but i've already told you i think they're going to have uh scholarship reductions they're going to pay a big old heavy fine because the ncaa needs money to run and the best way to get money is to find big big schools like michigan or tennessee we paid a 12 million dollar fine but i think hiring sharon moore will help them and it'll calm the seas a little bit. Now, I'm sure some guys will transfer because, look, you're losing your head coach. And they signed to play for that head coach. You know, it's kind of like Alabama with Nick Saban. A lot of those kids signed to play with him. They didn't sign to necessarily play with more. You've also got the question of Jesse Minter, who is a defensive coordinator for Michigan. Will he stay? Because my understanding is Harbaugh wants him as well, along with his son, of course who allegedly was heavily involved in the sign-stealing thing, or at least had knowledge of it. Now, that's not been proven, so that is alleged. But that's, that's what a lot of people were saying. So it definitely makes sense to take him. We're innocent. So we may have a sweepstakes for Jesse Minter, and it may be the highest bidder. We'll see. Uh, it just depends on where Minter's head is. 
he may decide to stay with Michigan. But boy, I tell you, it's going to be tough when you start dealing with all these scholarship reductions and all that. It's going to be tricky. Now, I think the Michigan fan base will be reasonable and understanding that this is going to be a tough couple of three years, and they're going to take some hits. You know, the NCAA is probably going to make a big deal out of this. They just that's what they do. And look, remember, Michigan was ready to go to court over this to get a to get an injunction. Slap an injunction on them so fast it'll make their head spin to uh, stop the suspension of Jim Harbaugh for three games. And that day, they saw the evidence and they said, no bueno, we don't want any more of this, no moss. And they gave in and said, we'll take the three games. Does the defense's case hold water? No, the defense is wrong. And Michigan's got outstanding lawyers and the judge actually played at Michigan. So they had everything stacked in their favor, but the evidence obviously wasn't. So Jim's gone, and Michigan, look, it's not going to be the same Michigan team. It's just not. And that helps so many teams because it just has to naturally. First of all, Ohio State, they're probably guaranteed the Big Ten championship at this point because Michigan's not going to be the same team. They're just not. And that's, I'm not saying Moore's not a good coach. I'm not saying he's not going to be a good head coach. He might be, but he's not Jim Harbaugh, number one. And number two, there's going to be sanctions, and it's going to affect this team. And a lot of the really best players are going to the NFL. You know, you lose your quarterback, that's huge. And that guy was very – J.J.'s a very good quarterback. He's going to go in the first round. Those guys, you can't just go out and grab a few out there in the portal. So Michigan's probably going to lose some key players. They're already losing key players, and they've lost their coach. So Ohio State, especially with all the moves they've made in the portal, I just don't see how they don't win. If they don't, Ryan Day will be gone. He must beat Michigan, and I think he if he doesn't this time, I don't know what to do for you. And you've got to win, Ryan. Otherwise, you probably deserve to be fired. A lot of other teams are going to get helped by this because this, look, with Harbaugh there, they're almost guaranteed a top 12 spot in the playoff. They, I don't see how they don't finish at least 10-2 and two with Harbaugh there. If they go 9-3 and three in that conference or something along those lines, they're not going to get in the playoff. And that helps so many other teams out there that are right on the cusp a Tennessee Vols, for example, it could help them. Old Miss, Missouri, USC, LSU, Texas, Texas A&M maybe. Who knows? A&M may have a uh, resurgence with their new head coach. Oklahoma. There's so many teams that now have a much better chance of getting in the playoff because Michigan just takes a spot. They literally take a spot, just like Ohio State does. You know, if Ohio State doesn't make the playoff next year, I will be the most shocked person on the planet. The only other school that's in there, you know, almost looks like no way they wouldn't is Georgia. Those are the two teams you can probably just pencil in. But Michigan was also one of those. So now they're out. I, not out. They could still look. They could still be very good. But I doubt it. Go ahead, Michigan fans. Go crazy on me. Now Kane. Anyway, this is all good news for most teams. And you're going to have 85 players out there that might enter the portal. Maybe 5, 10, 15 of them will do so, I would think. They didn't sign up necessarily to play for head coach Moore. And the Vols and several other teams might find a defensive back or two. They might find an offensive lineman. We're still about two or three players away from where I think we need to be to really make a full run, totally protect Nico, and to fix that defensive backfield. And Michigan has a bunch of good defensive players, a ton. And if they lose their head coach and Jesse Minter, some of those defensive folks will leave. And Michigan's loaded at defense. Man, they had a good defense last year. They would really get on you. So this has been a heck of a day. We kind of knew this was coming. I would have been shocked had Harbaugh stayed. I thought he should because he owed it to the Michigan fan base. But it's Harbaugh. And, man, he's going to do what he wants to do. That, that's not a guy that you're going to push around. And so what's done is done. But I think that increases the odds of a lot of teams getting into the playoff next year. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover my Vols, the SEC, and all these big stories like this. I've, I haven't been able to turn away from the Harbaugh story, and I'll certainly be interested to see what the NCAA does. And if you've not subscribed, it's on your right, my left. Hit this little button. It'll help you get my videos and won't cost you a dime. And right over here is the most recent video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy based on your viewing history. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.